What's going on guys? I want to talk about a knife made by Ontario Knife Company that I've been carrying for a little over a year. This is an extremely popular knife, one of their best sellers, and one that I truly believe is one of the best budget knives on the market. So you can get this knife for $40, which most people can afford. Uh, this is the Ontario Rat One. This is in D2 steel, and that's what caught my attention before this came in OS 8. A little disclaimer, it is made in Taiwan. It's a budget knife, right? Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend it, and I'll say that throughout this entire review. Just go ahead and get yourself one. $40, okay? You can cut out fast food or whatever and buy yourself an awesome knife. Throw it in your truck, your backpack, your glove box, whatever. Um, it is an awesome, awesome knife. Okay, so they do have, uh, like I said, this is $40. This is the full-size Rat 1. They do make a smaller one, which is a Rat 2. And the smaller Rat 2 in D2 is $37. In OS 8, it is $27. If you get this model knife in OS 8, it's $33. But it is lesser steel. I would save $7, and I would get yourself the upgraded D2 steel, in my opinion. You do whatever you want. Um, if you want to make life harder on yourself, get the OS 8. That's all I got to say. Uh, just get the D2, guys. So this is the Coyote Brown. There are tons of options of colors and the scales, which is pretty cool. Um... This knife, let's go over some of the dimensions. This is not a small knife, okay? This is 8.625 inches overall. The handle is five inches. The blade is 3.625. Um, the handle is 0 0.51, it's a little over half inch, okay? It has nylon scales. They are textured, but not very grippy, not aggressive at all. Um, I think just the shape of the handle and the jimping on the back of the blade there offer enough uh, ergonomics to where I really do not think this thing can slip too far out of your hand. I've used this in every situation I can think of. Um, I haven't gone hunting with it, but I've used it in wet, snow, everything, and I've been very, very hard on this knife, and it just takes it. It's awesome. Um, Notice I didn't clean this knife up. I don't think it's meant to be a pretty knife. It's not a pretty boy knife, which I do have a lot of those. Uh, this knife is made to get dirty and get used. Um, it does have bronze phosphor bushings. I don't know if you can see that between all the grit that I have in there. But uh, bronze phosphor bushings, that's pretty awesome for $40. Um, this is a $450 knife by Chris Reeve. This is the Umenzan. It also has bronze phosphor bushings. $450. I'm not comparing these two. I'm just telling you. High-end knives have bronze phosphor bushings. This is a $40 knife with bronze phosphor bushings. I think that's pretty cool. Um, another thing is when you carry a knife like this, it can do pretty much anything that you're going to need it to under general circumstances you know i think this is an extremely robust knife for forty dollars uh this knife is the chris revumens on like i said it was a gift to me from my wife and i almost dropped it in a lake um doing duck decoys and pulling in duck decoys and cutting rope and stuff and i almost dropped it in the lake and i'll be honest it gives you that pucker factor when you're like ooh. You know, this knife is irreplaceable to me. Uh, it's very sentimental, and I'm actually going to get it engraved either right here on the pocket clip or right here. Um, but, yeah, so I don't like having knives as safe queens. I have pictures of this knife covered in blood and stuff like that from hunting and all kinds of stuff. Um, but I almost dropped it in a lake, and I would never be able to find that again. Okay, so in that situation and moving forward, what I have done <laughs> is I grab a knife like this, 40 bucks. If I drop this in the lake, I will still be upset. You know, I'm, no, I'm known to go wading into lakes to get my lures, to get a $5 lure. Um, I don't like losing things. But I 
can sleep at night if I lose a $40 knife versus a $450, you know, Chris Ray Umnizan that was a gift to me. So that is another thing about this knife. When you carry it, your anxiety level is lower no matter what kind of situation you're in because you can hard use this knife. And I have used this knife harder than almost any knife that I have. And it just keeps cutting, guys. It's awesome. It really, really is awesome. It has this flat grind. So there's no bevel change here, right? Primary, secondary. You can see, so right there. And it's a slicer. It really is a slicer. It's awesome. I have videos on my Instagram. I think about a year ago cutting up horse mat. I know I've carved wood with it and done all kinds of stuff and it just keeps cutting and the action and everything is flawless and I love it. So it is a liner lock. That is not the best lock in the world in my opinion, but it's $40 knife. Okay. So the thickness of the blade is 0 0.11. Um, like I said, it's a D2 drop point flat ground blade and a satin finish. You can get this in black. You can get the handles in a million colors. So there are a lot of options. Okay. And another thing is look how robust this handle is. You have one, two, three, four, five barrel spacers back there with a stainless steel liner all the way around the knife. So look at that. Uh, overall, the knife is 5.07 ounces. If that's too much for you or you don't like that, then just get the Rat 2. I don't have the specs right now, but it's a lot lighter, and it's still an awesome knife. Okay, so I use this knife, like I said, in the water, snow, everything, and it works awesome. It's very ergonomic. Um, the dual thumb studs are done very, very well the machining and everything. You have four options for the pocket clip, which I absolutely love. So you can do tip up, tip down, left hand, right hand. That's awesome. Good for you guys. It was well thought out. So like I said, in the winter and everything, you have gloves on. A lot of knives are very, very hard to open and this is not an issue. So I just pull it out of my pocket open it up, cut hay or whatever I have to, ropes and deal with horses and stuff like that. And I just put it right back in my pocket. Not a big deal at all. So it's awesome. So just get yourself one of these. Let's compare it with some other budget knives that I have. So it's very, very hard to say that this is the best budget knife, but I really think it is. Um, if you don't wanna buy something from Taiwan, uh, then you can get something from China. <laughs> so this knife is about $45. This is the Spyderco Tenacious, which really surprised me. I have a review on this. Also a flat grind, which makes these knives very, very good slicers because it doesn't get significantly thicker as you go up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so $45, $40. China, Taiwan. Keep that all in mind, okay? Because it's important to a lot of people. I understand. This is probably the best. I mean, it's got to be right there with the Rat 1. This is made in the U.S. of A, right? Ken Onion Design, Kershaw, Blur. Absolutely love this knife. I have tortured this knife. And it just keeps on working, guys. Keeps on working. Super sharp. Good material. Made in the USA. This is about $50. Um, if you get higher steel, then, you know, if you get an S30V or something like that, it would be even more. Um, I think it has the same steel as this, which is the 8CR13MOV. I'm pretty sure it's the same, but anyway, uh, you get the point. So these are generally the same price, 50 45 40 amazing budget knives okay these are my top three these are my go-to's and you can use any of these and not lose sleep if you have to use it hard and you chip the blade or you lose the knife or something that would suck but it's not a 500 hundred dollar knife okay
I'll leave it at that. Let's do some other comparisons. Let's bring out back out the uh, Umnins on. Do a comparison there. This is my brother-in-law's uh, Benchmade. It's actually a 915 with a 916 blade uh, tactical triage. I just did a review on these. Pretty cool knife. Really, really cool knife. And lastly, let's put it up against the knife that I've been carrying to review right now, which is the Cold Steel Recon 1. Alright, so you can see the size of knives that I like. I do not like small knives. I like big knives. Okay, so that's a comparison with some other knives. This is an $89 knife. Um, I'm going to do a review shortly on that and... It's pretty awesome. I did some testing with it today. It's a beast. S35VN steel. Um, and I'll talk more about that later. So overall, um, you don't have to be an outdoorsman and or anything like that to own one of these. You know, it's an amazing knife for the money. Like I said, you could put it in your hiking backpack for the day. So you have a knife if you need one. Throw it in your glove box, your center console. Take it to work, put it in a toolbox, put it in a tool bag. Then you have an awesome knife that you don't have to lose sleep over. So this is an amazing value for what it is, and I highly, highly recommend it. So this is the Ontario Rat 1 and D2 Steel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I have a lot more on the way. And as always, have yourself a great day.